All right, it is October, favorite time of year for me. Got this new game, The Sinking City. It's a HP Lovecraft inspired game. I like this, that kind of thing, I like that aesthetic. So join me in this psychological horror show. And uh, yeah, let's see what it has. Cause I'm sure I'm probably gonna end up running in fear screaming mostly dear mr charles reed as you requested i've researched the outbursts of hysteria and visions in the city of oakmont massachusetts it turns out that your assumptions were correct such cases are indeed more frequent here men and women from across the country are drawn to oakmont haunted by visions similar to yours a city drowning the presence of something great yet unknown as luck has it i believe we have stumbled upon the source of your ailment and the person who might help you with it. Prepare yourself, then come to Oakmont as soon as you can. I will meet you here to help you on your way. Cordially, Johannes Vanderberg. Okay. Getting right into it then. Don't like mirrors there? Oh. Okay. So, got some trauma serving in the Navy there, huh? Was there supposed to be two of me? that? No? Okay, no. Okay. Okay, the good start. I have a first aid kit and a brick. Karen. I'm on Karen. All right. All right, I see. I see some kind of symbols there. Oh, good. Hope I never have to use it, but something tells me I will. Well, I'd rather have it than not. Uh letter from J. Vanderberg and uh, that was literally what I already read okay what are you okay a camera what is that what is that okay I there we go is that a squid? Some kind of trophy, okay. Never trust a tourist advertisement. Hmm. Okay. That was easy, I got evidence. Figured out how to turn on a light and use a camera. Ah, yes. A dingy dock. Hey, dude, what's up? Now get out! 
Excuse me? Now get out. Okay, screw you too. Hi there. At last, Mr. Charles Reed. What a pleasure to finally meet you in the flesh. Nice to meet you. Johannes Vanderberg, at your service. I did promise to meet you the moment you arrived. Ah, much obliged, Mr. Vanderberg. I guess I didn't expect you to mean so literally. Please call me Johannes. But where are my manners? Welcome to the proud city of Oakmont. Alas, now is not its finest hour, though it is its most important. Okay. Yeah, you, you dressed up real nice to meet me here on this uh, dock. That's an eye catching suit. Thank you, Mr. Reed. A mere flood is no excuse for one to abandon one's style. I take it you're a big fan of yellow. Well, I have a particular weakness for it. Call it a personal quirk. Okay. I'm not particularly fond of yellow myself, but you do you. Reaching Oakmont was no easy task. Most maps I found didn't mark it, and this rickety packet ship is the only one that sailed here. Why That's weird. That? Oakmont is no ordinary place. Its unique geographical position and the flood, a recent natural disaster, make it nigh impossible to reach. But you made it, Mr. I'm sure the tides of fate would have brought you here one way or another. Okay. That's a little weird that it's not on any map. Flood. It began six months ago. Storms raged for several weeks. And the water has risen ever higher without receding. Now the city is cut off from the mainland. I must say I rather like it, despite the inconvenience. Atmosphere, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's a weird atmosphere you're going for, isolated and alone from the rest of the world, my dude. A little weird. You said you know someone who can help me with my... problem. The visions have been getting worse. Such vividness of dreams is not uncommon here in Oakmont. By chance, the man I spoke of, Robert Throgmorton is already at the port. He has dedicated a lot of time and effort to investigate this issue. Alas, I fear he has a more pressing matter on his hands. All right, where, where is I he? Where I find Mr. Throgmorton? Don't worry, you can't miss him. Throgmorton tends to <laughs> stand out from the crowd. Okay. Can you tell me a little about Mr. Throgmorton? A remarkable creature. Scion of a robust bloodline, a philanthropist, a scholar, and the patron of the famous Oakmont University. A man of great ambitions and even greater ego. Do not make him wait. That's a weird way to put it, calling him a creature. I okay. need a place to lay my head while I'm here. Any recommendations? Fear not. I've already feathered a nest for you. There's a room in your name at the Devil's Reef Hotel. Here's the key. Sounds charming. Don't judge a book by its cover, Mr. Reed. Yeah, what do you How do, do you here? Fill your days, Mr. Vanderberg. I host a philosophy club for the like-minded intelligentsia, gathering seeds of thought like moths drawn to a flame. Does Oakmont really have much of a market for philosophy these days? There is no consciousness without pain, Mr. Reed. No better moment for clarity than times of hardship. Okay. What's the best way to get around Oakmont? I'd like to drop my things at the hotel. Most locals go by foot, or by boat. I've got the latter sorted for you. There's one waiting outside the port. Ah, you're too kind, Johannes. Can you steer me towards the Devil's Reef? Take this map. I've marked the hotel and a few other key places. Other places? Like what? You're a private eye, yes? Well, I've highlighted the police station, city archive, newspaper. Places you'll need to get to the truth. This city is insular, 
its ways mysterious. No one will take you by the hand, so you better know where to turn in search of a lead. Alright, I gotta be smart, clever, and intuitive. Got it. Well, that's it for now, I think. Uh, thanks for helping me get my bearings. No, no. The pleasure was mine, Mr. Reed. Oh, before you go, how can I get in touch with you later? Don't worry about that. I'm the kind of man who finds you. Okay. Weird, creepy dude. Oh, what am I stepping? Ooh. That is a big octopus. Big. Very big. Hey, dude, what's up? What are you... Don't do that again. Oh. My bad, I didn't mean to almost push you off the dock. All right. Seafood. Okay. I expect that's really all I'm ever going to eat. You okay there? Oh, you got some interesting tattoos. The end is nigh. It will begin again. What is down comes up. The seed is sowed. Uh, sure. <laughs> you, you get right on that, bud. Uh, I'm just going to go back this way. Titania lifeboat. Where's your Oberon, huh, Titania? All right. Something with this helmet gives me chills. What's wrong with it? Yeah, why is it glowing? Just take a picture of that. Albert Throgmorton's will. I hope someone finds this. My name is Albert Throgmorton, and this is my will. I want to warn you, don't go to the depths below Oakmont. There's unreadable. We should have never done that. Everything should have remained in that cave. Professor, I fear that what will become of me, it's singing in my brain, dancing on my eyelids every time I close my eyes. The cycle goes on and on and on and on and on and on. In the end, it comes. I must warn everyone. I must tell my father he's here. All right. That's uh, all evidence collected. Okay. I just wanted to take a stroll down the street and see what I could find. I found something important. What are you guys doing? Can't catch a mackerel since those insmouthers took over the fishing business. Okay. Do you like it here, newcomer? Well, get used to it. No one leaves Oakmont nowadays. Promising. Okay. Well, I do plan to leave at some point. I don't want to stick around here. Can I go in the water? Okay, yeah. Uh. I can swim. Don't know what good that's gonna do me though. Oh, oh, oh god, no! No! Oh, get out of the water! Get out of the water! Out of the water! Out, 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 out! No! No! How do I run? You know, that really should have been the indicator to just avoid the water, but hey, I'm dumb. Okay. Yeah. Water is a no-go. I don't care about your petty excuses. No one leaves the port until my son is found, and that is fine. Uh, <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Are you Robert Throgmorton? I am, but not interested. Go away. The name's Charles Reed. I'm a private investigator, just arrived from Boston. I was told you might be able to help me. Private investigator, you say? Well, perhaps we can help each other. You know, 
Yeah, we're just gonna go right to it. Yeah. Please forgive the question, but I've never. You look like you got like hit with a brick. Before. That's because no man measures up to the Throgmorton lineage. Proud and powerful blood flows through our veins. My father united with a certain royal family, which has blessed all our offspring with these exquisite features. I think they have a term for that. I'm pretty sure it's inbreeding, but I could be wrong. Ah, uh, yeah, you know what? I've heard you're the man to speak to about visions, outbreaks of hysteria. I'm trying to get to the bottom of it myself. Another newcomer with another problem. <laughs> yes, I know what you speak of. Can I ask you a few questions? How oh, dare you. My son Albert is missing, and no one in this Innsmouth or Ridden City will do a damn thing. But yes, let's talk about your dreams. Okay. You just insulted me being an outsider, and that no one will help you. It sounds like a you problem, my dude. If I may ask, what happened to your son? Why do you care? What's your angle, outsider? Well, like I said, I'm a P.I. Finding people is kind of my specialty. Is it? Well, Albert was part of a deep-sea expedition I commissioned. This useless fool over here says he found Albert washed ashore in a lifeboat. Says he was barely conscious, out of his mind, talking gibberish in some other language. That he even tried to bite him. And you don't believe him? Complete malarkey. Malarkey, I, I say. Albert. I raised him strong and smart, the best of his kind. It couldn't have been him. Albert's disappearance is the work of Innsmouthers. Mark my words. Okay. Yeah, who are they? I take it you're not the biggest fan of these Innsmouthers. Those fish-faced freaks have overrun this city since the police <laughs> burned Innsmouth to the ground. But now, those filthy migrants occupy half this damn city. Port, Grimhaven Bay, Salvation Harbor, the shells, they are everywhere. So they're just refugees? <laughs> Hardly. They've taken work from the local fishermen. They stir and agitate against us, the Throgmorton family. We are the pillar of this community, not to mention that crime rates have skyrocketed. Simply speaking, they are a big stinking pile of trouble. I'm sure you can really smell that pile with that nose too, huh? <laughs> Mr. Throgmorton, let me help you. I'm rather good at tracking down missing people. I'll find Albert. What makes you think you can do it? Oakmont is not exactly friendly to new arrivals. Yeah, you've shown Let's me that. Just say, I tend to see things that others miss. And anyway, what have you got to lose? Sounds like you could use every man you can get. Vera, you have a point, newcomer. What did you just call me? Sorry, did you just say Vera? What does that mean? You had better get used to the Oakmont dialect, outsider. That is, if you want to fit in. It is a fascinating blend. Vera means fine. I was saying, we have a deal. I see. Thank you. All right, then. I need to know more about what happened to Albert. Dane, did you not listen at all? I already told you everything. After leaving on the expedition, Albert was found on the shore in a lifeboat. This fisherman supposedly brought him to the house, and then left to call me. But when I arrived here, my son was nowhere to be seen. Anything else? Clearly, something suspicious occurred inside the house. I suggest you stop dawdling and go see for yourself. Well, I'm pretty sure I found the lifeboat. You mentioned a lifeboat. Is it still around? Yes. Face the house, then to the left is a beach that borders a fence. You'll find it there. Yeah, I, I found that. Your son's will, I, I think Where's I found that too. the house where this too. all happened? 
For Kay's sake, I thought you were a private eye. We're standing right in front of it. Okay, I'm a little slow, man. As much as I'm enjoying the weather, Mr. Throgmorton, it's time for me to get started. Find my son, newcomer, and be quick about it. Jeez. You know what? Where's my handy dandy camera? Say cheese! Uh, I did figure out the camera. Or, not the camera, the light. Can I go through here? Okay, I can go through here. Huh. This dog mat looks better than the owner's bed. is damp and damaged, but clearly well cared for. Well, it's good he takes care of his books. Wouldn't want that to impede anything else being nice and clean, huh? Oh, okay, there's... Shell casings and gunpowder, okay. Oh. Yo, officer. It would take tremendous effort to move this thing, let alone tossing it over like this. Yeah, yeah, I guess it would. <laughs> Let's see what you find, newcomer. My god. Hey, how's it going? You okay? Hello? Hey, can you hear me? Ah. Uh, oh, my head. What? Who are you? Are you police? I've already told them everything. It's okay. I'm Charles Reed, Private Eye. Mr. Throgmorton hired me to find his son. Oh, oh okay. What do you want? Who are you? Tell me about yourself. Uh, name's Will. Will Hammond. I'm a fisherman. We all are. Live here together. Me, poor fella Paul, Barry, and Innsmouth of Lewis Flynn. We moved here after the flood. I worked on the railroad, but the rail ain't kicking anymore, so... I started fishing. It was out of starve. Yeah, not a lot of options. I want to know what happened here. Every detail. I don't... remember much. Me, Paul, and Lewis. We were here. This is our house. Barry was outside, on his business. Then he came back, carrying Thogmorton's son. He was unconscious, barely breathing. Barry left again to call Mr. Robert. Then what? We put the guy in Lewis's room. Then he started to make these horrible sounds, and... Okay. My head began to burst, and he woke up, and... After that, I don't remember a thing, just dreams. Drowned streets, a sleeping giant, a voice that called me. Ah. Hmm. That sounds familiar. Who, yeah, who what is, is K? This K you keep mentioning. Outside of show some respect. K is our lord, our light, our love. Sorry, I, I didn't know. Okay. Weird cult, but you you do do you you do you. Where are all the other guys? Uh, that's Paul there on the floor. Kay be with him. Barry's outside with Mr. Throgmorton. Lucky rascal missed everything, and I have no idea where Lewis or Throgmorton's son got to. Starting to suspect the worst. Okay. Do you know how Paul died? I don't know. When I pulled myself together, he was already. Gone. Okay, have mercy on his soul. I'll leave you to it. Take care of yourself, Will. Please, Detective, sir, tell me the truth. Could it be me? Did I kill Paul? Or, okay, did I kill him? I don't know yet, Will. The police will stop anyone coming in or out of here, so I suggest you just try and get some rest. 
I'm afraid of what I might dream. Oh, him. I don't know. You ain't doing so good there, bud. Let me shine some light in those eyes. I, I'm sure that'll help. I don't see blood on you. So I'm not suspecting you killed him? There was a fierce fight here, but someone tried to flee. Looks like your head was bashed I can barely in. recognize the face of the poor fella. He was beaten to a pulp. Okay, what? Yeah, um. Okay. Hearing voices, seeing things over my shoulder. This is a great start. Okay. What's in here? Oh. Never seen knives like this before. Master for work. Probably for fish, I would guess. Seems like prohibition hasn't affected Oakmont too much. So, that's what an ends mouther looks like. Okay. Guy has a weight problem. Press down to activate mine's eye. Okay. So... Oh. Well, he's bilingual. Good for him. Okay. Can I see anything else, like on here? Never seen knives like this before. Masterful work. Uh, okay, I guess not. Seems like prohibition hasn't affected Oakmont too much. How about you? So that's what an ends mouther looks like. All right. Okay. What the hell was that? The hell is this? Okay, so I've stepped into some kind of dimensional rift. Cool. So what? Mm. <gasps> what? Happening. Okay. So there's four of you. Levitating dude. I'm assuming you're the dude in the picture. Because you look pretty similar to the build. You are the dude freaking out. Yes. And you... I think are the dude on the floor. Okay. So what is... Take this, ape face. <laughs> okay, so that's probably the sun, I'm guessing. And... Oh, man. You really took that barrel to him. Like, holy crap. Sorry to tell you, my guy, but yeah, you, uh... You killed him dead. <laughs> yeah! Run! Okay. Let's see what we have here. Okay. Yeah! 
Run! Yeah, run! So, all right. Take this, ape face. <laughs> if that's a one. <sighs> Take this, ape face. <laughs> and then three. Yeah, run! When Albert Throgmorton woke up, he was not himself. He attacked the fishermen, and his hysteria spread to them. When he got wounded, he fled. Okay. Whoa, whoa! Back, back off, whatever you are. I've said everything I know. Okay. Like, you could just help me out a little bit here. How about you? Oh, there Mr. you go. Mort. I found this in the lifeboat. Looks like it's your son's will. Give it to me. Oh, my boy, what did you get yourself into? If only I hadn't sent you on that cursed expedition. Bye. <laughs> Bye, you deal with it, bud. Another great white bitten in half, pretty much. So what am I doing here? What's this? Okay, that's a shell casing. So the fisherman pursued Albert. Even let off a few shots. Okay. So I'm just... As oh! Okay! You see some stuff, my dude. Okay, that's the bullet I just found. Oh, so I can see where they ran. Like the hands. Robert was wounded, he managed to climb that high. Robert wasn't exaggerating when he said he raised him strong. Okay, so he came up here and went running that way. Okay. Man, that's not disturbing in any way. That didn't give me anything, but okay. Guess it was empty. Stained note. Lewis, please just give me one more week. I know oh, I owe you, but I'm underwater like everyone else right now. I don't yet have enough stock to operate the bar smoothly with the fuzz snooping about the port. But don't worry, I've struck a nice deal with the proper people and should have a steady supply channel soon. Just one more week and I'll return everything with double interest, Peter. All right. And that's a lot of blood. The blood is fresh. Whomever it belongs to could not have got far. Oh, good. Flickering lights. Hmm. Nobody hiding underneath the stairs. something 
over there. Good. What about padlocks? Oh, okay. <sighs> the door won't budge. There we go. Well. What? Oh. Oh! Where's my gun? It's not loaded! Ah. Uh. Yeah. didn't load the gun oh okay what the hell what the hell is that okay okay I think I found the dude. Yeah? That's a whale. Mm. Alright then. Hello? That's another one. Are you dead? <gasps> yeah? Okay, good. More hooks. So, one fatal round through the forehead. That's no accident. This was deliberate. Yeah. Any. Okay. All right. Going into my little mind palace here. Yeah. Impaled onto fish hooks and hidden. Yeah, that's pretty deliberate. Fled when wounded. Left the crime scene. Pursued him, yes. Okay, that doesn't connect. None of that connects with that, okay. Lewis may have wanted Albert dead, because he was a Throgmorton rather than drive him off. Might be hiding at the bar. Hmm. Well, there's the bar. How convenient. Uh oh, yeah. Hey, got a spare bullet, fella? I ain't eaten in days. Um, like I do, but you sure you want it? Like... You look familiar, but old Billy hasn't seen you around. Are you old Billy? alert monsters lurk underground they're everywhere good to know no oh, i'll miss the carpenter's food giveaway with this darn port closure
so. Come. Come closer, troubled soul. No, Let I'm good. Let me tell you what your future holds. You're some kind of, uh, fortune teller? Yes, my dear. Yes. Oh, it's so clear. Your path holds many surprises, newcomer. <laughs> Do tell! Hey. Like what? Not so fast, newcomer. I see many things. For a small fee, I'll tell you some of them. All right, how much? A dollar? <laughs> Your money has no value here, newcomer. After the flood, Oakmonters deal in the practical. Booze, smokes, and bullets. And I'll make it easier for you. I don't smoke. Well, I have booze. You don't want booze either? You know what? Fine, I'll give you a bullet. It'll save one for me. Let's hear what my future holds. Good. Let me focus. The sea will be generous in the coming days. Many gifts delivered. And many will regret partaking. I don't think I follow. I see old and new. A hard heart against an iron will. Whoever wins, you win too. But you'll only see that from inside a metal cage. And and tall pillars circled by the dead. A race from one to the next as time itself laughs. Yeah, the... <laughs> I think I'd like my bullet back. Yeah. It is what it is. The truth will out soon. Me, I just caught an early glimpse. <sighs> Why do I feel like I got scammed? Yeah, like, that made no sense, man. Like, yeah, I'd like my bullet back, please. Hey, barkeep. Welcome to Under the Keel. What do you want? Yeah, let's talk about that. I've seen some unsettling creatures around. Like nothing I've ever encountered. What are they? <laughs> so you met a wild beast, newcomer. No one knows what they are, but consider yourself lucky to still be in one piece. They arrived in the flood. Some say they come from the sea. Others that they are Kay's punishment for us. And what do you say? If it bleeds, you can kill it. Agreed. Keep gun handy. And if you want to erase the memory, I sell a perfect cure right here. Remember, better to be a coward and live than brave and dead. Unless you're a newcomer. Okay, Jesus, man. I didn't do anything to you. I'm looking for a man by the name of Lewis Flynn. Any chance he's here? Yeah. Even if I knew, I don't rat to newcomers. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, no. You, you're just rude to me, and I, I'm a little tired of this rude attitude. Robert Throgmorton hired me to investigate his son's disappearance. I found the note about your debt to Lewis near his cold, dead body. It looks like Lewis murdered Robert's kid. You want him to come here and ask instead of me? What? Don't what me. At best, you're harboring a criminal. At worst, you're an accessory to murder. I... What? No. I ain't done nothing. Tell that to Mr. Throckmorton. No. No. Throck. Lewis is upstairs. Here's the key. Smart man. There's your good deed for the day. <laughs> Bye. Just didn't need to be a rude ass to me, man. No. You got any goodies back here? I wonder what room he's in. It is a mystery with this... Maze. Hey, who are you? What are you doing? Whoa. Charles Reed, private investigator. 
Mr. Throgmorton hired me to find his son, Albert, so I think you know why I'm here. Ugh. That darn bartender. It was all that crazy ape's fault. You hear me? Calm down. I only want to speak, for now. But no, if you reach for your gun, you'll hit the floor faster than you can say poetic justice. I got nothing to hide. You know, yeah, yeah, we have to do this. What kind of, uh, why do you, you why are you face? ugly? It's, uh, <laughs> I'm oh, sorry. so you're here to attack me just because I look different to you. Want to spit on me, whisper to your friends? What's new? Uh, no, no, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't know how to ask. I've just never met someone like you before. I didn't mean any offense. Innsmouther's bodies were blessed by the she. You're gonna see a lot of us here, so you better get over it. We are proud of who we are. Well, you, you be proud, man. Stand tall. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know Start what? Start yeah. at the beginning. What happened? We, we, we were in our house, me, Paul, and Will. Barry'd gone to the sea. Though I told him that it would only bring bad luck. If he'd listened to me, we'd all still be alive. Come on, Lewis. Focus. Right. Well, Barry dragged that damn ape to our house. He was bragging about how much Mr. Throg Morton would give us for saving his son. But that ape, he was out cold. Then woke in an instant and started screaming, attacking us. After that, can't remember a thing. Okay. You shot to kill. No warning, no second chances. You pursued Albert even after he fled. Why? I... Well, I can't remember it. When he woke, it was like a, a bloody mist descended over me. First thing I recall after is that darn warehouse and me uh, covered in blood. I had no idea what happened, though. I suspect it had something to do with that ape. Turns out, I was right. Mm. I hear there's a bit of a feud between the Innsmouthers and the Throgmortons. Care to fill me in? Those apes hated us from the moment we arrived in Oakmont. Our home was destroyed. We just needed a place to stay. The Blackwood Grand family sheltered us, but others were not as hospitable. We needed jobs, food, and medicine. The city denied it all. And so? We had to fight for every crumb of bread. And those Throgmortons in their high castle only made our life harder. Always conspiring behind our backs. Always setting people against us. I'd love to see them suffer like we suffered. Okay. You mentioned a grand family. What do you mean? Hm. So you're a newcomer, huh? Explains a lot. Yeah. A newcomer with a gun. A Answer the question. <laughs> okay. People here are crazy about bloodlines and tradition and reputation. The head hunters of Oakmont are called the grand families. There's the carpenters who control most of the city's underworld. The Blackwoods, who share kin with Innsmouthers through the Marsh family. And, let me guess, the Throgmortons. Right. Those filthy apes. You have now a lot most of, the Black things are gone, of things you could say. Now left to protect us Innsmouthers. Like, my dude, neither one of you should be slinging insults like that, because you don't have much ground to stand on. Yeah, you're... They look pretty deliberate there. He's hanging by hooks and had a singular bullet hole in the head. The things you did to Albert don't look like a bloody rage. A fatal shot to the head, a hidden body. One might start to wonder if it was deliberate. Yeah. I don't know what to say. I wasn't myself. Even in your little haze of rage there, I could hear you shouting ape this and ape that so I don't know man like poor Paul there I think that was his name with the barrel 
he don't have a clue about smashing or nothing, but you screaming about apes and stuff, like... Mm. I think I've got all I need. Please, yeah. Mr. Reeve, don't tell Frogmorton about me. I know I'm in no position to ask. I didn't want to do whatever it is I did. Honest, have mercy, please. I have a family. Without me, they'll starve. Where is your family? They weren't there at the house. Where are they? Um, I'll have to think this about it. This is not exactly cut and dry. I need some time to think. Perhaps I can offer something to grease your grinds. I still have a few bullets on me. Bribing me. Yeah, oh man, you really want to seem like you're not trying to cover your tracks, eh? Hey? You think you're the first person to offer me a bribe? Please, Mr. Reed. Uh, don't try my patience further, Mr. Flynn. Let us just take a little moment to reach our inner tranquility in the Mind Palace. Murdered and affected by hysteria. Oh, do I choose? Lewis was mentally affected. Lewis was mentally affected and couldn't entirely control his actions. Lewis was aware of what he was doing during the fight with Albert Throgmorton. I gotta say, you still pretty aware in that bloody haze to sling racial insults there. As well as chase him down, put a singular bullet into him, and then hide the body and hook him on meat hooks. Gotta say, it sounds like you're kind of aware of what you did there. Lewis, like, I, 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 gotta say, really seems like you're aware of that. Deliberately murdered Albert. Psychic influence or not, Lewis was out to murder Albert Throgmorton. He had motive to the mutual hatred between the Innsmouthers and Throgmortons. That, too! I must tell Robert the truth and bring the murderer to justice. Yeah. Like, I, it's, I don't know, like, maybe he was out of his mind like the other guy with the barrel, but uh, it doesn't really seem like it. Hey, found the guy. But I, I kind of want to ask about this, too. Mr. Throgmorton, uh, I've encountered something, uh, What? I don't have all day. Some uh, unusual creatures, and they sure weren't friendly. You've seen a wild beast, Mr. Reed. I'm somewhat surprised to see you still alive. Those unsettling things appeared after the flood. I've commissioned a few studies on them, but we know little more than when we started. They're aggressive, but fortunately, not immune to gunfire. Yeah. I learned that firsthand. Try to avoid them when possible. And when you can't, keep your weapons handy. Mr. Throgmorton, I'm afraid I have bad news. Oh, no. Yeah. I found your son in the basement of a nearby warehouse. I'm sorry, but he was murdered. Shot in the head and the body hidden. No. It cannot be true. No, no, no. I don't believe it. No. I've tracked down your son's murderer. Where? Who is he? Oh, I can lie about it. But it is as poorly hidden as the body was. It was also padlocked shut. So yeah, he did try to hide that body. And just as I suspected. The Innsmouth or Lewis is responsible for your son's murder. He's hiding at the local bar, 
Just ask the bartender. Seems like he had a bone to pick with your family and took it out on Albert. Oh, that scum won't be getting off easy. The whole city shall see what happens when you cross the Throgmortons. Justice, bittersweet as it is, shall be served. It's rare for a newcomer to make himself so useful. Thank you. Mr. Throgmorton, I hate to press you, but do you think you could help me now? Yes, you've earned it. Okay, to think a newcomer barely off the boat solves a crime the police couldn't. But hey, maybe you don't look down on me. Remind me, what brought you to Oakmont? Ah, uh, I don't want to make it seem like I'm crazy. I'm so... looking into an outbreak of erratic behavior and madness, all linked to shared visions of this place. Indeed. Then our goals align. This. Inexplicable hysteria has spread through Oakmont after the flood. I funded an expedition to explore recent geological activity that may be responsible. Okay. A geological expedition? I'm not sure I follow. I have reason to believe the flood and this madness have the same source. As above, so below. So I sent men to find out. Okay. You think the flood is unnatural, you then? the flood. You think it's more than just a natural disaster. You weren't here, Mr. Reed. What happened? Defied scientific explanation. In what manner? Has your expedition found anything? I do not know. Albert is... Albert was part of it. His passing cannot be coincidence. Why was he alone at the port? And where are the others? Well, it kind of looks like he washed ashore and was at his wit's end, but I could be wrong. You think your son was killed because the expedition uncovered something? Is it so hard to believe? I had no news for a week that Albert... The only one I could trust comes ashore and is killed. It does sound suspicious. Mr. Reed, I want you to find out what's going on. I expect you're as interested in the expedition's results as I am. I want to know I'm more. If I'm going to look into this, I'll need to know more. Where should I start? I'll give you the address of the expedition's headquarters. And a key. That's all you can tell me? Let me be clear, Reed. You do not speak to me like that again. Oh, sorry, Mr. Throckmorton. I just meant the more I know, the better. I am a busy man. I funded the research, but left all preparations to Professor Doe and Albert. When you've finished, come see me at the Throckmorton family manor. It's in Old Grove. Here, I'll show you. Okay. Yeah, now we'll talk about payment. About my expenses. They will be reimbursed after you complete your task. And of course, you've earned some compensation for your work here at the port. I'll also include a fair advance in bullets. Uh, bullets? The dollar lost its use here, Mr. Reed. After the flood, Oakmont returned to bartering. Bullets mean more than bills. Oh, I got a revolver. All right. Well, I already solved a case. I'm on the job of something else. Sinister. All right. Yeah, I already seen some pretty creepy things too, so I can see why he's a little jumpy and on edge. We'll continue this further on and see what else we discover in these wonderful wonderful depths 